Okay, so this is simplify. And the main thing that you need to notice on this one is that this here, it, this fraction bar, it actually works as a, as a division symbol. So really what you're doing is you're taking 6w over w plus 5, and you're dividing it by 30w squared over w squared minus 25. But, and, and we're not going to get into the why, but you should remember that whenever there's a division of fractions, you can convert that to multiplication by finding the reciprocal of the second term. So with, with two moves, we've come up with something that's much more easy to work with. And then aside from that, you, you may notice this difference of squares, which is pretty easy to factor. And so I'm gonna move it over this way. So I'm gonna keep the six W from here, the W plus five. And then this is a, it's a difference of squares. So it's W minus five and W plus five. and just copy that piece. So now it's a matter of doing a little bit of canceling. Often these are really about factoring and canceling. So that cancels with this. And then the other thing that's maybe a little harder to see how to cancel, uh, if you notice the W in the numerator and the W squared in the denominator, uh, if I expand that out, you'll see that those W's cancel. So you're left with one W in the denominator. So if we're, if we're um, focusing in on this piece, on those W's there, uh, it's just one over W. And then the other thing to really take notice of is this six and this 30. Six goes into six once, six goes into 35 times. Okay, so using all that information, I have this one fifth thing. I have this one over W piece. And then uh, the W plus five is canceled. I'm left with W minus five. So that's essentially the final answer. But when you turn this in, what they want to see is the W minus five in the numerator and the five W in the denominator.